We thank God for His divine provisions. Amen. All over the world, I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeda nyamiasi, ewo neni pa krum kruma oyema yeng. Amen. Oya si afana yina mitiamu wo Yesu dimu. Amen. I'm still talking about the ability to see. Migusua e kasafa diebe tumi ama wahuna die yehu. Let's hear the heavens report for today. Whatever I created is that which gives joy and satisfaction to my people. True joy and real satisfaction are from me. But the things that are influenced by demons don't bring joy and satisfaction. They are enhancers, fake joy, and false hope. Turn to me, and I will let you have my joy and fulfillment. That says the Lord. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yentie ene heaven amani bono. Adie biya mi boy eno. Eno ene die nijie. Eni ome ema minkrofo. Enijie pa. Eni ome kain pa. Efri memo. Ne mo niye ma. Adam money a shaswan and fine nije and your me emma. A ye and kikaho near ma a kenya in nipa. A ye nijia and ye papa. Any and it does on so and ye papa. Dan wo a mammy. Na memma wenya me nije and or me pa said ye a rade sieni. We your sofo. Dr. Kukudazi, Mama Neboa, Midi Free Heaven. Amen. I showed you last week that there are three things God lets every individual go through. Mi ma ohunu na ochi echi amonu se eni ema mi ensembi wohwa nyami ma nipa daseni biya FM. They are life, judgment. And heaven or hell. A young kwa, a timu, and a heaven, and a se janua, and Every alive soul goes through life. Everyone will face God's judgment, and you will either go to heaven or hell, depending on the life you live. Now, o kre biya eti asyeno e bo abrabo e won komu. O biya be jina nyanko pa un ate mo enim. Na e jina abrabo a o bon se se ya esu. Se wanko hevina o beko janwa enum danon emu. You will go to heaven if you live holy and you will go to hell. If you are a sinner, so transi our crown crown ye mo, ubeko heaven. Ena se uye di boye ni nswa, ubeko obonsam jano mo. These are things every individual will experience, whether you like it or not. We ye niema unipa da se ni biya befemu se upeu se umpeu. They are unavoidable truths and divine orders. Eye nukwariya untumi nchanja eni nema nyami ashishe. So the life you live now will determine where you will go forever. Anunti abraba ubonu sisiya inu. Anunti bechile bebiya ubeko afibo. If you live and die as a sinner, you can't avoid God's judgment 
that will let you burn forever in the hellfire. Se utrasi na uuse odibonye niya. Nyankupon ate mwa. Ebe mwa koshi dada afibo wo obonsamu janumano. Untume nchwa njada. And if you live and die as a holy person, you will live forever in heaven. Na se utrasi na uuse kronkron niya. Ube trasi afibo wo ewa heaven. So, the sinful life that is sweet to you now will later tend to be bitter in hell as you burn forever. Next, I say, Boni abra bonu a ubori se se no a ye o denu. E chre, e bedan o njuno, e wo janua e num denu. Wa abra o she afibo. And the holy life that seems bitter sometimes will result in living forever with God in heaven. Enna, kru kru abra bonu suwa, eto de biya, eye onyono nsono. Ebe mao ni nyame atrasi afibo, ewo heaven. That was why I asked you last week to choose one of these for yourself. Enunti na, na watu ye chue mono, me can say in near my mum no mubaku a mau. Either you go through the dark tunnel of hell and burn forever, or you live forever in the bright light of God in heaven. Say yes, Ubefa is soon kabisi bomwa a diwo ko obon sam janumo akosia fiboa. And ye na ye se. O transi wo nyanko pon hai mu pa e wo heaven susu afibo. Do you like a sweet life of indulging in sexual promiscuity, drugs and alcohol that will result in burning bitterly forever in hell? Or you like the bitter life sometimes? That will also let you live forever in heaven. O pesa deu abra bonoa, e ma o bo e jamai na o fa nu bonne e no monsan bo na so so e tre e bet dani o nyun abra bo amwa shi afibo e wo jano e num dano mo e na se o pa abra ba to de bia e nyun na so so. Ebe mwa transi afibo ewa heaven no ana. God has given you the willpower about your life to decide on these things. Yes. Nyanku pon ama wo ope tu miya ewa wabra bono hon se di ebe ya udi be siye jina ye ewa sa niye me ewa. So what do you want to do with your life? That you have power over. Anunti wankasa un kwanwa uo to me wasunu. A dear na upese ude. Do you want to live to please God who gave you the life you have now? Or you want to live an apathetic life and attract God's wrath? Uba bra body sonyan kupoin ah. O din kwanu a uwo se si anu ma u. Anna se. Upe se. Uye o se wa bra ba u boron di. Un fa nyan kupon hon. Na u ba bra ba wa upe. Na ma u di a tre. Nyan kupon hon abufo aba wa u so adan. Do you want a bitter sweet life? Or a sweet bitter life? As I asked you last week. Upe. Nyono deo abrabo. Anase. Upe deo nyono abrabo. Sedye mi bisao. Na ochi eche mono. You should not choose darkness. Forever weeping and burning in hell for yourself. If you really love yourself. Me nyi esum. Ene dada ajo cha. Any a sheer or bonsam genuine amount, 
se u do wan kasa omo because demons want people to join them in the hell fire they have induced people to choose the sweet bitter life isan se adamo ni pese ni pa ka won ho o janu a enum danu mo ente no wa kenya ni pa amo mo yi e de onyono abrabo no and sadly because many people also hate themselves and don't reason they have agreed with demons to choose the bitter life of darkness that leads to hell na rehu semne se isan se ni pepi tan wo mo ankasa ho na wo ntwen ti no oni adamoni aye adwen en wo mo yi abrabo no a eye onye no a esa ye sum no a ediko eja no edum da no emu no if you are wise and you love yourself choose the bitter sweet life in Christ that will let you live forever in heaven se wo ye nyan se ni e na wo do wan kasa ho a yi enwe no enije abraba e wo Kristo mo a e be ma wa transi afibo e wo heaven no that is a life of light peace genuine joy and eternal life Amen. hallelujah enu ye han abrabo asumje eni eni ji e kan eni da da enkwa another lie of satan that i want to talk about today is that you can live your life anywhere you want and when you die you will be resting in the bosom of the father you will rest in peace obon sama trobiwa me pese me ka ho asem ene dey ene se wo betumi abo abra bo no se de wo pe bia na se wo wu a o wo be ji wa home e wo aja no ekoko mu wo be ko akoda din So Satan's lie is that all the dead people are resting in peace. They are resting in the bosom of God the Father. Very interesting, eh? Very interesting. So no dead person went to hell or will go to hell. Na chese obonsa matro ni se wo mu a wo mu wo nyina no omo ji wo ma home na omo da nyame aja ekokom eh ni kapa o deje se o pa chere se obi ni wa wa wu a o ko obunsam jadu mu ana se obi ansu ni wa o be ko they are all in heaven resting in peace ne che se wo mu nyina wo heaven a Omo eji o mahome e wa simje mu That will be very nice and e ka be de pa That is why at every funeral you hear people say may his soul rest in peace To them once you are dead you are resting in peace They have believed that lie of Satan Enu ntina wo ayi ase no wo ti se nkofo o kan se o ne kra enya ahomeje e wa somje mu de je se o mo pa chere se sa ni pa no wo wo no o ji na home e wa somje mu but that is a big lie from satan nan so so e ya troke si e pa e free obun samho If you don't live holy to please God and you die you will not rest in peace in the bosom of God the Father So one trust you or kun kun ye mu an so nyankopon ni na wu a won ji wa homi wa somdwe mu e wo nyame aja no koko mu da You will burn forever in the hell fire O be shia fi bo e wo janua enum dano emu 
And when you are burning in the hellfire, there is no rest and peace about that. Nese u shi e u janua e numu danu mua. A hume jie e niya simjoe biye ni wa e wumu. Because Satan doesn't want people to know this truth and be very careful about how they live their lives. That is why he tells them this big lie. Nanzo suwe san se, obon sabu mpese nipa be hunu sa anu kwari, na washe wan hu ye pa wan wan bra pa wo bo e wano. E nun ti na odi sa atro kasi ye editre wano. If every dead person went to heaven, then who went to hell? Eh? Se ni pe biya wo uwo eko heaven diya. E ni ena wain ene beko obon sam jabno. Eh? No one. E ni ena obiya anko honono. Eh? And it wouldn't matter how we live our lives now on earth. Eh? Ne basa ansu soa. You can live anywhere you want. Because when you die, you go to heaven anyway. Yeah. Eh? This satanic lie doesn't let people reason. Sa obon sama tre, a man nipa. And gain. That is why they believe that every dead person went to heaven. I don't think how much they are say, "Obia wo wo no oko heaven no." But I'm here to inform you that hell is full of countless of people who lived and didn't serve God. Then some of us may catch you say, "Any papia." Unto me, kind won't any war a janua in num danumo, nor she says, Ya, the sons or tnasse, Wabra wants to me. My Lord Jesus wants the living to know the truth about what actually happens after the death of people who lived and didn't serve God. That was why he told the story about the rich man and Lazarus in Luke chapter 16, verse 19 onwards. Mira Yesu Christo pese ati asifu hu no kwari pa e fa di esi e wo enipa wo wu a wan transe na wan som nyame e hu enu ti no ka asem no e fa osikani no ene Lazarus hu e wo Luke and Simba ti don sian e free ni chiche mu don kron e de kono he wants the living to understand that People who live in sin without regard to God's word go to hell and burn forever. And those who live holy to please God also go to heaven and live forever. Opese, atiasifo, etiasiese, enipa watinasia, wamfanyan kupon asemanye reino, woko obonsam jem koshi afibo. Ena wamo soa watransi wakunu kunu yem edu sonya miye ni sonu. Wamo soso eko heaven eko transi afibo. That is the truth. And truth about life can only be gotten from the Lord Jesus Christ who created life. Hallelujah. Enu eni nukwari. Na nukwari ya efa enkwa ana brabo hono yebe nyanu wo eradi yesu kristo ha obo enkwa no enjen because satan wants people to live in complete disregard to god's word and attract god's punishment of hell that is why he has hired preachers who are also lying to their congregation about the existence of hell a son so bon samu pese Ni patransi, na wafa nyankupa wa semu nyewe. Ne mo wadi wa hunko, nyankupa wa suchinya, eye janwa, enu mdano muntino. Enu ntina, wabu wabu wa nsempa kafu anwa, wadi atro eche wa safu ma, efa, e janwa, enu mdano, wa e wakono.
Uno. I always say that such preachers make my Lord Jesus Christ a liar. Na de biya me kan say san sem pakafo no e ma mi ra Jesus Christ o ye otrofo. They as human beings and the Lord Jesus Christ who created human life and knows everything who can tell the truth about what happens after death. Eh? Wo mo mo ye nipa. Eni awurade Jesus Christ a obo onipa da seni nkwa a onim bibia no. Wo ene betumi aka no kwara e fa de ebesi onipa da seni wogi. Eh? I am telling you as the servant of God that all those who died and didn't serve my Lord Jesus Christ in truth are burning forever in the hell fire. Me catch her say Yakobo akwa say wo mo mu wuya wo man som mi wa Jesu Christo wo no kwara mo bia no wo mu shi afibo e wo janua enum danu mo. What is funny is that at the funeral of a dead person, the same people who say may his soul rest in peace are the same people who say bad things about the dead person. Then he can say, say, well, before a year, say, no, in the pacrona, almost say, Nekra and Gina Homi was some jabon, or Mokrono as also, and a cat and some bonny for Nipa were warning. They are the same people who say, Oh, we always drank alcohol together. Mm -hmm. We smoked weed together. Mm -hmm. I know his girlfriend. Oh. No. In fact, he had bad temper. Oh. Mm -hmm. And many more bad things about the dead person. Mm -hmm. Minim nim pena bi kura o nana ne koko nya kura o na o mo ke kansem boni bi e de fa de wo no eh if you say a dead person enjoyed in all of these sinful acts where did they go then eh so wa o ka se ni pa wo wo no o ye sa ni boni nyina bi dia eni na hin no ko Eh? Obviously, he went to hell. Yes. Because sinners don't go to God. And then the perfect say, Okobun Sam Jim, it's an sad boy from Konyan Kuponjain. That is the truth that people don't want to accept. A no quarrier, a nipam pese, obejiatum. It is stated clearly in God's word. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, 10, that those who practice certain things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And Apostle Paul mentioned some sins that will not let people enter God's kingdom. Yachro, ne de di pefe wo nyan kupa se mu, ewo korinto fo mu me di kaino, tin siyan, jiche mu en kron eni du se. Womo omu ye enye ma binu. Womo entu min ko nyanko pong a enye no. Eno osuma fu po sha se se obu bobu bobo niya. Emma nipa unko nyanko pong a enye no mo no eso. Therefore, if someone died and you know that that person was envious, he was a jealous person, he was alcoholic, a drug addict, sexually promiscuous, a cheat, and greedy for money. Why is it that you don't want to accept that that person didn't go to God, but he went to hell? Yeah. Eh? Where would that life take him? Uh -huh. Eh? And then you say, now 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 no friend no bonny. No boy jamai pa. No a sisi for. Na no a sika ni brief for. I don't think na um pesa obe jia tum se sabra bono anko nyanko ponche. Eh? Na sabra bono eh na dinikoye. Oh my God. 
if someone indulges in any of the sins in first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 and 10 that person will never enter the kingdom of god so bsa bonini a ebiwo corinto for whom i did kind of things and teach a moon crony do not sign the panel yeah dear buckle young cooper in the animal da if god allows such a person into his kingdom then God doesn't have principles. Mm. Yes. It implies that God allows sinners into his presence. Yeah. And God would never do that. God is holy. So it is only holy people who can be with him. Mm. Full stop. Yeah. Yeah. Na siya susi chese, nyankupon opinusu ma di boye fo eba ni jen. E nyankupon nye sa da. Nyankupon o ya krun krun. E nun te ya krun krun fo on kwa. E ne betu mi aba na nim. E no anu no. O sem no anu no. It saddens me that there are too many lies of Satan about what happens after death. And people have believed it. E e marwe hupa ase. Obon same diatropi afa di esi ewo nipa wu echi atre nipa na nipa nso ajedi listen some preachers and their followers believe that there is a place called purgatory and when someone dies that is where the soul goes first and if the family of the dead person wants the dead person to move from that place to heaven, they can pay some money to a priest and let the priest offer a church service for the dead. And the dead person will move from that place called purgatory to heaven. Hey! <laughs> My God. That would be very nice. Yes. Hmm. What a big lie. And some paka for binumini womu echidi for echidi say. Be a be a a friend of fin fin be a friend of pegatry. Nasa obi wa a ho and an ekran di kanko. And unti se ni pa wo wana busina for per se. Womu ye de wo won e free sa be a hono e di beko na omu dini ko hevina. Na oma ko hun or sofu bi. No oma tia si kakesi e bia mano. Nasa o sofu no aya sorry bi e dia ma de wo wono. Ne be madi wo wo no afri sa bia no ye fer no pegetri no na obesin akwa heaven eh ka de pa ka de only the rich people will go to heaven then and the poor people will go to hell because they can't afford to pay large sums of money yeah enye nan ka sika fo nko ene be ko heaven ne hia fo nso so Ako bon sam jem. E sanse omo omo nye sika biya. Omo nye beko akuti ya sa skano. I am here to tell you that. There is no pegatry in my bible. And there is no where God said that. A church service or a prayer. Can move a dead sinner. From hell to heaven. That is an impossibility. It's a big lie from Satan. Me Bible no no, pegetri biye ni. Na be biya sin huwa nyanku pon kanse. A sorry ye bi. A nansen pa bobi. Ebe tu mi e yi. O di bonye ni a wawu wo. E fri janwa e numu denumu. E di nabe sin akwa heaven da. E yo bon sam atro ke si e pa. If you believe that, you will be shocked in hell. You have to live holy now to please God. So, who did ya? Who begged you to go to the same general? I said, Sir, who transferred your crew crew him? I said, Yeah, I did so. I mean, what? When someone is dead, there is no religious ceremony, there is no prayer that can change the dead person's position from hell. Yes. So, Obi Wuha. Nyame sum asori ye biye ni ho. Empa bo biye ni ho. Ebe tu mi asisan ni pa wo wono etibia. 
Efri obunsam janu. If someone dies as a sinner, that person goes to hell direct and nothing can move his soul from hell to heaven. So obi wu se odibonye ni ya. Sa ni pano, oko obunsam jem straight. Na bi biye ni wa, e bi timu e yi ni kranu, e fri obunsam janu mu, e di na besi yako heaven da. If that is true, then the living can bribe God mm. yeah. eh? about your dead relative. Ah. But no one can bribe God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No one can influence God with anything about the final place of a dead sinner. O bien to me fa bi bia en se senya me again en fa be bia o nipa wo wu a o ye di boye ne no e ko no e ho. When God decides, he decides. If he says no, no one can change it. Yes. What is written is written. Senya mi siye jina yewi ya. O siye jina yewi. Senya mi kase debi ya. O biye ni o betu mi adani ya ni. Die wachiro no. Na yachiro. Another lie of Satan. Is that. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus in your lifetime. You can believe him after your death. Hey. Eh. O bon sama tropi ya unsu ni se. So when J. Eradi Yesu Christo ni wabra oti asia, uwe chini ube tima jenadi. Ah, how? Eh? Ebede. He has told the people that in hell or at the heaven's gate you can decide. Ah, but my God, what a lie! Obon sama kachira omo se, obon sam jamu, anase heaven. A progression and honor. We be tima aye wadi in say afe the opposite of jidi. Hey, hey the atroni. After death, there is no negotiation that can let the dead soul accept the Lord Jesus Christ or move any soul from hell to heaven. As I said, owe chino, and she say a biya ni wa. Ebe tu mi ama akra o uo no. Aje radi Yesu Christo adi. Anase. Ye yinu efri. E janu enu mu danu mu. E dina besen ako heaven. Se di emakan. Ha? Ah. If this is true. Then the rich man in Luke chapter 16. Would have accepted Christ. When he saw that he was in torment. Ha? Se sa se mi ye no kwari ya. Eni enka abran sike ni no no o luka nsempa ti dun si e hun sa fe de o hun amane pa no ko be je radi Jesus Christ adi The rich man would have asked his brothers to see a priest and pay some money and add some items for the priest to perform a church service or prayer that would have moved him from hell to heaven Yes Anka sike ni no be ka che ni nuanum se Omu nko hunu sofu pengini bi. No omu ntia si kakesie. No omu mfa niye ma niye ma bi soso nke kakon. Ne ma sofu pengini nya sori bi. Ana omu mpa ya. Ebe yinu e fri obon sam janu mu. Ne denu ako heaven. Ah. That is an absolute impossibility. E nyadia bitumi ya ye hoda. The rich man realized that impossibility. When Abraham told him the truth about heaven and hell in Luke chapter 16 verse 26 that no one can pass from heaven to hell or from hell to heaven. That was why the rich man didn't talk about this moment but wanted to send a message to his living brothers about the truth in hell. Yeah. Wa bra Abraham kanu kwaria e far heaven in hell. Edi chenu luka nsempa. 
ti dun si an chiche mu e di onun si an se. O biya ni wa. O be tu mi e free heaven. Ni wa chemu abe si an ko hell. En o biya su sun tu mi free hell. O bon sam jenu mo. E mesle e ma heaven en so. E nun ti nane si ke nene pe se. O di asem e koman ni nyanu me ti an se. E fa no kwari pa. E fa o bon sam jenu e honu. If prayers or church service could change his position, the rich man would have pleaded for himself to be moved from hell. Sempai bo, ana asori yebi, ebe tumi asisani tebiya, anke sikeni no, go besre amono anka sano, se yeni nimfri obozam jano. That was why instead, the rich man pleaded for just a drop of water to cool his tongue. And untina usikeneno esre se ope ensia ensatia di abum keke se odi be jojo jojo ni tajre maso. The truth about what happens after death that the Lord Jesus talked about in Luke chapter sixteen settles every stupid and demonic argument. Yes. It annuls every satanic lie. No quarrier, a radius to Christo Kaye, a fa, the essay, a wo nipa da seni, a wo echi, a wo look and sympathy do siano. A can of bon summer chini jay, and in quasia na daina, anotum. Emma bon sum a throwing in anu, a young quasia sem. Intuitively, the source of human beings are aware of the torment of sinners in hell. That is why when someone is about to die, that person wants to be prayed for and accept Christ. Woman kasa huni munu, ni padase ni ekra ni mse, asu chin wo homa adibon yefu wo ewo e janu wa enu mdanu. Enu nti na se obi babi uwa, na ni pano pese, Ye bompa ye manu na oji kristo dinu. They do that because when people are about to die, demons remove the blindfolding and the soul sees the reality about what it's going to face. Womu ye sa chile se, se ni pa babi uwa na damon ye yi kate demon e freho. Na mo kira ne hun no kware pa that is the reason such people ask for prayer on their sick beds. Enuntina sani paria omo srese ye me bompa ye ma omo e omo yare empaso no. They see what they can face after death. They don't want to go to hell. But as I told you the other time, the prayer on the dying sick bed is useless. Womu hu di ombe tu mi akushia e womu uwechi. Womu mpese ombe kujanua e numdanu mu. Nansu su sedi e debi me kachira wono. Sa ampaye bonua ye be boa ma nipanua o uwo e wo uwo mpana so no. Mfasu o bia ni so. If you want to avoid the hell fire that will burn forever Repent now and live holy for my Lord Jesus Christ. So um pese ube ko e janua e num denu mu ako shia fiba. Sakrawa jin se siya. Ne trans wa kru kru yemu ne faso mirwa yesu kristo eni. Else you will burn forever in the hellfire. A nye sadia ube shia fiba e wo janua e num denu mu. It is this truth that makes us very wise to repent from every sin and decide to do whatever the Lord Jesus Christ requires from us whilst there is a breath of life in us. Amen. Amen. A dear Biara, a radi yesu Christo, if you share a free year honor, wa bra and kwahome away a mwin ye beye.
That is why we have given our life to Christ and have chosen to belong to his holy family, which is his church, and do whatever he says. And until I may a dear Brabono, I may ready Yesu Christo. Na ye ye se, ye di ye hun, ebe kwa ko dom, ne busyan. Ah, ye ye na sorry. Na ye ye di ope biyan. Because all demons want people to burn forever with them in the hellfire. That is why they don't want people to know this truth. And that is also the reason they have enticed them with all sorts of sinful things. E son sa damo ni pese. E ni pa ni wamo shia fi bo. E wu janu wa e num danu e mo. E ti na wamo pese ni pa ebe hunu sa ano kwa rewe. Na nwa asun ti. E nwa di ni bo ni pi. E de de e ni pa no. That have sexual intimacy with a lot of women. Or with a lot of men. Take in alcohol or drugs. As much as you can. Use demonic rituals to make money. And when you are about to die, you give your life to Christ. And he said, And in my pee, and not boy, Jermaine. And I said, My man, my pee, no, 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 Nefa adamoni nyankuma diso peska. Nese upa bewua. Now the huwa me ready. That is very interesting. E yadi e nikampa. Demons know that that will be too late. That is why they lie to people about that. Adamoni nini mse. Enu diye ebeka e chikura. Demons want people to live in this deception and defile their bodies. Obon some person ni patras was na daimu na osei on ni pedia. Demons make it seem as if it's an achievement to be intimate with a lot of men or with a lot of women. To destroy your own body with drugs and alcohol. At that money, a man come here to say, Oh, why you are there? Why you are there? Pow, yes, why you are there? Hey, and he say, Wouldn't it my pee be da? And I say, Mamma pee, no be da. Now, the new bonny, I say, Wouldn't it be da? Now, a son, no man, son, no a bopa. But there's nothing prestigious about destroying your own body. That will result in a lot of sickness, depression, and death. Nanso so and moyam bia di wa iwo mu se wo se wo ankasa uni pedia a edi yari epi bebre o na bema wa juna mukra wo nya how na fe nso so edi owo abre wo. Let me ask you something. What will happen? If you don't have sexual intimacy with a lot of women or men before you marry, eh, what will happen? Me mimi se wa se mi. Sa wuni ma pi ana ana me me pi ana ansa na uwaria eno ebe dey. Eh? It's your body that will be at peace. Eh, you ni pe dia eno ebe ya sunje. What will happen if you don't smoke or take drugs or drink alcohol? Before you die, what will happen? Mm. Eh? You will live healthy. At the end, busy. So one num cigarette, one phone bunny, and now one num one san san wa wa. At the end, busy. Eh? You ni pedia. At the end, you are Eh? What will happen if you do genuine business and make genuine money? Mm. Eh? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing will happen. People will see you as a genuine person. At the end of the day, so we hear Juma Pa. Now the Nessie Kappa. BBNC. Nippa Mom Nebe who said, We are Nippa on them compass on the yard. If you die as a sinner, all that will happen at your funeral 
will be CCP. This is my own jargon. It is Christian Concert Party. It is Dr. Kukudazi's jargon. So don't copy me. If you say it, say it's Dr. Kukudazi who said that. I've been saying that for many years. Say, who would you say the boy in here? You may see what you're not seeing in Arno. A dear me and Casa, where me and Casa Massem, Monsieur CCP, a search, I say, a Christian concert party. Mena Macasa, same way, I am fear be brave. Oh, cow, say, Doctor Kukudazia, same on the cancer. The most eloquent preacher can preach at your funeral. Your funeral can make a stadium full with sympathizers with spectacular cultural displays and with lots of tributes but all of that will amount to nothing ma osempa kenya na no atipa emekasa wo yi ase ma wo yi emfa jamfo embe ma bolbo agu prama so enye ma na yenda Abani ebebre e fedi na ni papi in kansem pi em fa ho ni na en ko si she what will happen to you will happen to you the ebeto no ebeto if you die as a sinner you will surely go to hell so who said the boy in here we had dinner obe ko bo samjano so be wise to give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ now that you are alive. And don't wait till when you are about to die. Or think that your position can change from hell to heaven after your death. That will be impossible. <laughs> Na men chen ko si bra o babe wo. Ana se wajin se. O tibi ya betu mi ase san. Efri janua enu mu danu mu. Ne di wabe sen ako heaven. Enu diye entu mi nye hoda. Accept my Lord Jesus Christ now. And live holy for him. So that you can live with him forever in heaven. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Jemira Yesu Christo dise siya. Ne trans yo kronkru ye mu manu. Se di ebe ya. Oni ni be trans ya fi bo. E wo heaven. E wo Yesu dinti. Amen. Amen. If you love yourself. And you don't want to burn forever in the hellfire. Give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ now. As you say this prayer with me. And after that, I always say, come to church and let me train you how to live holy. Say, Udo Hupa, and I won't pass a Uber Shafi Bow with Jano and Num Dano Muda for whom my Radi Yesu Christo says here. Or Brownie may boss umpire, and no chino de Bia Mikasa Brasori, Namenti two, or Quine Oberfaso, or Betrans or Kronkon Yemu. Lord Jesus, a Radi Yesu. I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me and I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people about the truth concerning what actually happens after one's death. 
so that they will take a good decision to live holy for you in Jesus name amen amen that ya mean so pop 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 amen na e wi emre die se obi tie o na wo am fa se mi anya djuma na wo kopie hela na e yo no a e no tan ho oni adofo a wutie ye e na no pay wo 105.7 ap radio a ye Reverend Doctor Kukudazi Ephraim and a Odinia me as some crudge a brewery. Be a no she shay a chap wine. Now pet, yammy as some pie tea, penchet papa, a barbara papa, a sera dear near. She shay a chap wine, oak massa cassie. Cassie no main road, a da a crooning fin fin, but who say Abatua, and now my uncle walk being kuma. Ni faso feeling stations bi twa twa so. Di edi kain di eto su mienu. Mienu ni nche emu mbe wun se kwa yin e da hon e sane kofob. Mbe wun si e sign board kure si janshe ne so. Action Power of Faith Ministries. Fasa kwa yin an so eko si fom cha ya. En ko be bi e bi emu. Abe wun se wun se ni faso. Aswari ni sign board e bo ho. Rem kwe si adan o pe bi ya e ye. Na on kron na ukwada enyumri no num ni fa bia e bible adisua ene fiada enyumri no num ni fa bia so e ye mpaibo na asemi ya wote ne ne kwesi anopai e be sense su biom ukwada ene e fiada enyumri no ndu enam afkon ni nti enyumri no ndu betumi asen ti biyo ye papa sama waka ni ne ama mi ame hu se ni pafa no enno wo mo ho na wo man kasa eti ase no wa chire be bi o pese wo koda da isan se se obi ye o tanfo no o pese wo be ya adamfo na sa wo so pese so mo no ya adamfo a na che se ni tiri mo po no abe mo yi isan se bon sam ye ni patanfo na ni pa so pese ye fa na adamfo ni aka ye tiri mo po chire no into your back can be an any petty so. Let us only in your uncle hair. Only under for your papa can say be or say. Who pass all far a soon and say cherry and nay a jasher a chain so over call a deomu a high mu and nay a hutoma feboana. Natural say hell no. I'll crawl for cassay. Ya quite nipper be be oh. Eh, my creation mean in our Inti ye be hu omu nyina anti ye ni ha o esuma wo ho no wo hu no bia de obeti ni se obi ye su o wo kam ti wadren ya o se wo be hu no bi wo ho a e ye nkuto na be hu no wo se wo hu na ma ni a wo kam na nkrofo so ti anti na asema da wo ka bi o ma e sire de se obi ye wo a e se wo de agya ne kukum a wo je na home obi ya de agya ne kukum wo ye boni o wo anya boni o obi ade agya ne kukum na ni asam a awrade ka se wo mo mo ye sa ne ma we a uko tu ye first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 and 10 so wo mo mo ye ne ma edi di so yi paul o ka se wo mo tin ko nyam ko po ahini em na kire se asam a bible ka no wo boa e de nyam en so wan ka de kure e sa se Obi a wo ye boni bi a wo ba obeji na wa wo atu wo ne kukum na areho se asofo bi nso apene so age bribe wo bon sam ho se ye be kan ensam boni se a kire asafo ma e san so mo amu ye bon sam fo esi anan mu fo na wo so te aso ho na wo ji edi se se be ye wo enyina na mi ba be wu na mi fresh ofo bi no be bom pa ye ma bia e be se sa bible se kai wo bofo wo brante bi Asabre ya uwa wuda hoi ya wabu abra bwone siye wienu. Enye ho, ene be sisa. Wajini ya ose ube uwa, bitu miya sisa. Sisa wajini se siya, niye nye yi mamu. Nyami shisa oda, nsempa, achiri chiri wune. Amen. Amen, mama. Wunia, saanu kwa rewe, untimini chenja da. Uye denya obesia. 
So one for one mummy right Jesus Christ. No one more crum crum braba. My dear, you can never avoid this truth. You will surely face it. That is why you have to give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ and live holy for him now. If you really love yourself, give your life to him and come to church and listen to me. Listen to me. I say that if you give your life to the Lord Jesus first, whatever demons have done with your life, if they have put sicknesses, disease, yeah. burdens, mm -hmm. and are in control of your life, mm -hmm. I say that my God has power mm -hmm. to set you free. Man. Don't come because you want to be free and you don't want to serve him. If you have that notion, don't come to me. Mm -hmm. But if you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then I say he has power to set you free. Yes. He is still delivering people from demonic bondages. That is why he gave me the power. And I am also telling you that with God, all, all things, things are possible. possible. God bless you. God bless you too.